Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in comments below. Today I have a new worksheet. The name of the worksheet is called Fractions of Shapes. And the directions say what fraction of the shape has been colored. Circle the correct fraction. So let's come over here and look at our different options. We've got a square to start with and we've got three choices. We have two thirds, one half, or three fourths. Now the bottom number of a fraction tells us how many equal parts the shape is divided into. Okay, so for example, let's come over to the side and I'm gonna draw this out for you. If you have a square that is divided up, the first option says two thirds. So we have to have a square that it would be divided up into three equal parts, okay? And two thirds of that would mean two out of the three are gonna be completely colored in. So about this much of the square would be colored in. The next option says one half. So that means the bottom number tells us that the square would be divided up into two equal parts right down the middle. And then one of them would be filled in to be one half, okay? The last one is three fourths. So three fourths tells us that the square would be divided into four equal sections, okay? And that three of them would be filled in, okay? Now it's hard to tell based on just this little quick picture, but I want you to look over here. Do you think that this is two thirds, three equal parts, two equal parts, or four equal parts? What do you think that that looks like? Well, it looks to me like if I were to take a line and draw this right down here, that there would be one, two, three equal parts, and we can see that two of them are colored in. So I'm gonna say over here that the answer is two thirds, okay? The next one is a circle, and the circle, we can already tell how many parts it's divided up in because they've drawn the line out for us. So we have one, two, three, four. So whatever the answer is gonna be is either gonna, is gonna have a four at the bottom, okay? So over here, it says one out of four or three out of four. And we're trying to find how many of them have been colored. So we can see that only one of them over here has been colored. So I'm gonna go ahead and circle that one right over here, one fourth, very good. Okay, the next one is a triangle. And the triangle has been divided up perfectly down the middle, making two equal parts, okay? So I might already know that my number is gonna have a two at the bottom because we can see two equal parts. But let's look here, we have two thirds, one third, or one half. Now I remember I told you a two is gonna be at the bottom because we see two equal parts. So let's look, is one of the parts shaded in? If it's shaded in, one of them will look like this. Is that what our triangle looks like? Yeah, that's correct. So this is our answer is one half, okay? The next one is a square, okay? And we've already talked about a square, but we can see that there is no line that makes it really easy for, to, for us to figure out how many parts that there are here. But by looking at this empty part, we can see that we can fit four of those, okay, right in here that would all be equal. So I would have one, two, three, and I'll draw the line right down here. We'd have four. So we'd have four equal parts if we were to divide that up. And it looks like three of those are filled in, okay? So I think that it's gonna be one, two, three out of four parts that are colored in. Let's look at our other options. The other is two thirds. Well, that would mean that this would need to be divided up into three parts like this, and two of them would be filled in. That's actually the one that we did right up here. So that's not it. The next one is one fourth. Now that is a little bit tricky because we can see that there are four parts and if you get confused, you can kind of see that one that's sticking out. So you might think that's the right answer. But remember, we're looking for how many of them are the fraction of the ones that have been colored. So there are three of them right here that have been colored in. So three fourths is gonna be our correct answer. We've got one more here. You guys are doing a great job. We have a rectangle, okay? And the rectangle is really long and skinny 
and we've got a little section over here that's been filled in. Now just by looking at this, it's hard to tell how many ways we can divide it. So our options are we can either divide it into four ways or we can divide it into two ways. This one again is a fourth. So it would either be divided up into four equal parts like this, okay? Let's draw those lines, one, two, three. So one, two, three, four equal parts or it would be divided right in half, which is what the two means, that it gives us two equal parts, okay? And we can see that in half, that's not correct, because half would be about right here, so we know it's gonna be one of these fourths over here. How many of these are colored in? Or is it three out of four, okay? Would it be like this, or is it one out of four parts, which would be like this, okay? We can see that it's gonna be one out of four. Only one of those is colored in. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna circle one fourth. Awesome job on your fractions today, good job. Like us and subscribe to our channel. Find links to our apps and comments below.